Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a Raspberry Pi NAS. A NAS is a network attached storage and uh, to understand what a NAS is, you can skip to the following part. Now, I I'll be going into the uh, installations directly. So, I'm assuming that you have a Raspberry Pi which is which has a display method. It could be HDMI or VNC. In my case, it's VNC. It, need, it needs to have a proper internet connection. So let's get started. Uh, okay, the minimum requirements for this will be uh, an internet connection, a Raspberry Pi and some kind of storage device like uh, a USB drive or an external hard drive. In my case, I'm using an external hard drive of 600 gigabytes, but for, for experiments, you may use a small USB uh, thumbstick. So let's get started now. First of all, uh, you do not insert the hard drive right now. First we do the installations. So now uh, open terminal and then you have to update uh, your Raspberry Pi to the latest firmware available. Uh, and then paste. So running these two commands will basically up, uh, update it to the latest firmware available available now uh, we will install samba so samba is basically like a file system for linux uh, which works with windows for sharing files like making servers such as vr so we will inst uh, we'll install samba too uh, oops <laughs> sorry so we will install samba too i do this here and uh, samba will actually take a while to install uh, depending on your internet speed uh, if, if this comes up you click on you with the, you move the arrow keys to yes and then it installs samba basically now uh, while samba is installing what you do is you plug in your storage device to the usb 3 plug if you're using a raspberry pi uh, so i just plugged it in And as you can see, removable medium is inserted. Oh, I'll click on. Okay, I'll just I'll keep this open for a while. Now, uh, Samba is installed, as you can see. So we will change a few configurations for Samba, and uh, you use this command. All of these commands will be uh, in the description, by the way. And then I'll paste it here. Basically, nano is uh, sudo is required for super user permissions as I'm not from root right now. Nano is the text editor of Raspbian, the base text editor, and uh, this is the location of the Samba config file. Uh, so, on running this command, it will open the config file. Now, you can you scroll all the way down and you add these. Uh, statement or sentences you, you add these commands paste them here what these are basically commands for for creating a samba share and all uh, basically they are necessary and you won't be able to do anything without them so yeah next the desired name of your uh, nas i'll keep it raspi nas and the path of your drive uh, in my case, it's just a single drive and it, it will be here and then you navigate to the drive. It, it's going to show up here and uh, I'm going to copy this path. I close this here. Oops. Okay. By the way, you won't be able to click in the nano editor. Only keys and scrolling is allowed. Paste. And that's it. Uh, these commands are basically creating masks and uh, basically some configuration whether it is writable or not you can also load up a few more uh, but that's this is the basic that is required for normal configuration and we're gonna go with it now click on control X save modified buffer yes and enter now uh, what we do is we'll create a new password for our pi for for the Pi user uh, SMB password is the password for Samba and the user is Pi so I'll do that it's asking me a new SMB password 
you enter your new password and it has added the user pi now uh, we're gonna restart samba so copy this and paste it here uh, it, it's it's basically restarting the samba service uh, so it can load up the new configuration it's done now now uh, you have to move to task manager uh, sorry <laughs> oopsie doopsie so it's restarted now and uh, we move to file explorer you go into this pc uh, click on map or network drive by the way you need you need to be in the same network as raspberry pi uh, is in you add backslash and uh, rasp berry pi one more backslash and the name of your nas in my case it was raspi nas okay this is case sensitive and space sensitive i'll finish now it's gonna ask me for the credentials and you remember uh, running this command and adding the password you have to add the same password here too i'll click on remember my credentials so i don't have to log in every time okay there you go your nas is ready this is it's located in your net network and it's running off your raspberry pi i already have a few system a uh, few things in it such as some downloads and uh, movies and everything uh, now you can play movies and what not of this nas sure you can see so these are all located in your nas uh, depending upon the storage you have uh, the storage device you have you'll have that much of free space uh, i have a 600 gigabyte drive so and i've used up some that's it thank you very much okay so in this part of the video i'm going to be explaining what a nas is uh, have you ever faced this issue before that uh, s some some files of yours are saved in uh, a particular pen drive and uh, some other videos are stored in uh, a hard drive and uh, basically it's just a mess you can what you can do is okay you can organize everything into one drive right that will be much easier now to uh, to to access those documents every single time you need to uh, plug them in your computer you need to first of all find your drive plug them in your computer open up the files uh, transfer them out and if if this happens for a daily rate if if you need to transfer files from certain uh, external storage devices uh, daily then this might be quite a hassle also if you want to watch movies then every time you have to reach the back of your tv find out the port uh, and probably try to plug it in it's it's basically a huge mess even even for watching a simple movie so the the solution to this is a nas this what we made is a home nas right now uh, as you know that it is it is attached to the network so any device over the network any windows client mac client android client linux client any any client over your network can uh, if they have the credentials they can use your storage this is this is basically like your own personal cloud that is limited to your house's network if you want to extend it then uh, you'll have to port forward your raspberry pi's ip that is another topic you can search it up by the way uh, there are quite a few tu tutorials on that available uh, network attached storage is uh, are it's a huge topic there are so many different types of uh, codecs and i'm i'm not quite sure but is is the one that we made is is a very basic nas thank you very much for tuning in